Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Today we're going to talk about Cisco Router Basics, uh, DHCP. DHCP stands for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, uh, used quite extensively through small networks. I uh, made up a network, network here in Packet Tracer. I've got uh, one 1941 router up here in the left. I've got a switch. Uh, it's actually 2960. Got a printer connected to it and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven PCs. Now, using DHCP, these seven C these seven PCs as they're turned on will automatically request their IP address from the router if we have the DHCP configured. If not, each one of these PCs will have to be configured uh, in a, with a static IP address or manually. Uh, DHCP is a big help and can uh, save a lot of time, especially if you have, if you have a, a medium or, or large network. First thing we need to do is uh, come up to our 1941 router, go ahead and connect to it, either through a console cable or directly to it, and we're going to go ahead and use the command line interface uh, to do some configuration. And down here, the first thing we need to, need to do is assign a pool name to our DHCP. So when you first turn on uh, your router and you're constantly to it, you're going to get router with just this little uh, uh, carrot or arrow sign to the right. We're going to type in enable. It's going to turn that to a pound sign. Then we're going to type in configuration terminal or config T for short and we'll be in what's called the configuration mode. Uh, now we're going to type in IP space DHCP space pool space the name of your pool and the name I'm using is campus. So go ahead and we type that in and now we're into the DHCP configuration. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and uh, set our network. Uh, next command is just network space and uh, our network up here is 192. 168.1.0, so we need to type that in, space, and then our subnet mask. Well, this is a class A IP address, so we're just going to use the 255.255.255.0. That's a class C uh, default subnet mask. Uh, after we set our network, we're going to go ahead and set the default router. And the default router is going to be using uh, IP address 192.168.1.1 for its port. So we need to put that in default uh, dash router space 192.168.1.1. So this is going to be the default gateway for all the PCs in this network. Okay, next we're going to exclude some addresses. Why do we exclude addresses? Well, we might have a printer or a server in this network. And uh, we don't want to be feeding it uh, DHCP IP addresses automatically because we want to know what IP address those uh, devices are going to be permanently assigned to. Uh, for the printer, we're going to go ahead and assign uh, 192.168.1.2. So we need to exclude that and maybe a few more in case we have some other devices that we want to put into this uh, network where we don't want DHCP uh, providing those IP addresses. So I've excluded quite a few. I've gone down here 192.1.168.1.1. Now that's the, that's the default gateway for our router. And then I've gone all the way to 100. So from 1 to 100, these will be excluded from the pool. So the DHCP will not be trying to assign these IP, IP addresses. We'll be keeping them and kind of reserving them for other devices. Uh, first thing we want to do to see if this is working. Now, I, I, if you notice up here for the router, we've got it, the port turned off. So there's got to be new, no communication from this router uh, to the PCs or from the PCs to the router. Now, I've got this first PC, PC0, uh, the IP4 configuration I've got set in static. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go from static uh, to DHCP and click that on. Now, it's going to start requesting. Over here, it says requesting an IP address. So, it's going to send out a message onto the network uh, looking for a DHCP out there and requesting an IP address. Now, with this port on this router turned off, it's not going to be able to connect uh, to that router. That router's not going to get that message and be able to respond to it. And what's going to happen is the DHCP failed. Our message did not get a response. And it says APIPA is being used. Now APIPA, if you look over here, is the automatic private IP addressing. This is kind of a default IP addressing that is used by the Microsoft uh, Windows. If it doesn't get a an IP address, it will 
fail to this uh, this uh, network, which is 169.254. Uh, the next two octets here, 21337, is actually the host IP address. So you can see it's using a, a subnet mask down here, which is a class B default. So that last two octets are host, and the first two octets are network. Now, if we go ahead and turn on our router and turn the port on and go from back to static and go back to DHCP, again, we'll be requesting an IP address. But this time, uh, the PC is going to request an IP, a default or a DH, from the DHCP an IP address, and the router DHCP will respond. And now the DHCP is request is successful and it assigns that IP address, and it's the first one in that range from 101 all the way to 254. These are the, these are the ones that are going to be in the pool. Uh, it's giving it a class C uh, subnet mask, which is 255.255.255.0, and it's also providing the gateway. And the gateway is that default port or that port on that router that all the PCs are connected to. That, that default gateway is 192.168. Dot one dot one. Now we can, can we can go through the rest of these PCs, and uh, you can see that the next one, PC one, uh, has the IP address one hundred two. And if we're turning these things on one at a time, that DHCP should go ahead and serve three to this one, or one hundred three, then one hundred four, one hundred five, one hundred six, and one hundred seven. So that's uh, how we uh, set up a DHCP on our router. We could also do it on a Windows server. Uh, but we don't have a Windows server in this network. Uh, we're using the router instead. Well, I hope that uh, helps you to a little bit under better understand DHCP and how we use it uh, with the Cisco routers. And uh, if we had more networks connected here, we could use DHCP on any router that would also be connected to uh, any other PCs. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll be putting some more of these out soon.